Hi, my name's Niall Caroon. I'm a GP here at a place called Crystal Peaks in the southeast of Sheffield. I just want to talk a little bit about um, SOM and my journey with SOM. So I graduated as a GP back in 2019 and very soon after graduating I thought about all the different areas where I might be able to sort of specialise and maybe develop a little bit of a special interest. And I'm thinking where there might be a need and what skills I might have to offer and what I might enjoy in medicine, I really looked to developing some skills and a special interest in musculoskeletal medicine. And that's where I found SOM. And so far, between 2019 and 2022, I've completed the um, theory and practice and injection therapy module and the entire foundation in musculoskeletal medicine uh, diploma. And last year in November, I was very, very proud indeed to have my full SOM membership and get a membership of SOM. So I think for any GPs out there who might be watching this and might be considering, perhaps you're just about to qualify, perhaps you're looking at expanding your portfolio and you're looking at some special interest to have, I think there's a real appetite out there for expanding into musculoskeletal medicine and I'd really recommend it. About one in five GP consultations are in musculoskeletal medicine and there's a huge range of additional skills and um, things that can be offered within general practice by GPs who are trained up beyond what's covered in medical school and in GP vocational training. One of those things is injection therapy, injection of joints and soft tissues and sometimes um, um, tendinopathies and that's a really really useful skill to be able to be gained and in my own practice since qualifying as an injection therapist I perform maybe 100 to 200 injections per year and there's a huge appetite in a practice like mine uh, for injection therapy. As you may well know, there's many, many injection therapy courses out there, but what I really like about what SOM has to offer is there's a massive depth and range and expertise on offer um, to be able to become a real master at injection therapy. So if you were to consider the injection therapy course, it's very well supported with several days of learning across a wide, wide variety of potential injection sites. It's got a really good grounding in physiology and pharmacology. It goes into great depth and it's well supported with um, some excellent tutors and good support from a variety of peers from many different subspecialties as well. And there's a really in-depth good assessment process involving, e involving a portfolio of, of evidence and an OSCE style examination at the end. So by the end of this course, certainly from talking from my personal experience, I think that you come out of it feeling that you're a real master in injection therapy and are really ready to hit the ground running in clinical practice. I believe so much in this course that recently I'm very proud to have been accepted as an injection tutor on the injection therapy course and I've got my first ever uh, teaching session starting in Christchurch in September, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, that was a big new challenge for me, but one of the things that also inspired me to get involved in teaching and passing this on was how beneficial I find it within my own clinical practice. I'd really like to inspire some more GPs and others to be able to get involved in injection therapy and um, spread the word a little bit. So if you're a GP and you're interested in looking down this route, or indeed if you're a physiotherapist, an osteopath, a podiatrist or you work in sports and exercise medicine and you feel that you'd really like a very good grounding in well, particularly injection therapy but also, also uh, musculoskeletal medicine uh, broader, I'd really recommend having a look at SOM and hope to see you there.